Hey guys, welcome back to PT Pioneer. In this video, we're going to be comparing the ACE versus the NASM certifications to see which one is best suited for your type of training. Stick around to the end of the video to get our final thoughts on which certification we would pick out of the two. If you're still deciding on which certifications to get, head over to ptpioneer.com and take the quiz on the main homepage. This quiz will help you determine which certification would be best suited for you. For those looking for study materials for either the ACE or the NASM, head over to Trainer Academy. They have great study materials for both certifications, so check that out in the links in the description below. Now with that, let's get right into the video. Let's first start with some quick information on the ACE and NASM certifications. Now, NASM is considered more of a corrective exercise certification, while the ACE CPT certification is more of a general all-around certification. NASM has a unique OPT training model, while the ACE has the IFT model. Both of these certifications are extremely well known within the industry and are both NCCA accredited. Both certifications come out with decent study materials in addition to a textbook and live support. NASM also has an option for live workshops, however ACE does not. Another thing to note is the pass rate for the certifications. While ACE has a 65% pass rate, the NASM has a 64% pass rate. Now taking a look at the focus and recognition of the ACE and NASM certifications, NASM is a more corrective exercise focused certification. With that in mind, your main focus with this certification would be working with sedentary individuals that would have any muscular imbalances. Most individuals have muscular imbalances from sitting around all day. NASM first addresses these muscular imbalances and then progresses them through a strength conditioning program. The NASM certification focuses on these muscular imbalances first before progressing into a strength routine program. The beginning stages of their OBT model focuses on stabilization. This is the main level that focuses on any of the muscular imbalances that a client would have. This section is extremely useful for sedentary individuals that haven't done any exercise or for individuals that have just gotten out of an injury. One of the most important skills in physical training is getting your client back into the habit of exercise. This model is specifically designed in order to help them progress into that state. Now, ACE, in contrast, is also a great certification to learning the essentials of exercise science. This is extremely useful for building a routine for a wide variety of individuals. The ACE certification covers general training, and because of all of this, it doesn't really specialize into a specific area. Now, in comparison to the two, we think NASM has the better overall certification for getting started. This is mainly due to the structure of the OPT model in which they focus on the muscular imbalances first before progressing into other strength training. Because of that, NASM comes out on top in this category. Now moving on into the fitness industry recognition, both certifications are widely known within the fitness industry as a whole. NASM is the most well-recognized certification and is probably the most sought after certification in the industry. For those doing their own research and going through forums or searching online, they most likely would find NASM as the first certification to come up. ACE is also one of the most widely recognized certifications in the industry, with many private and commercial gyms hiring individuals with an ACE certification. If we were to choose a certification based off of recognition, both of these would be a good option. Now, another thing that we're going to be comparing in this video are the study materials, the pricing, and also the entering potential. Now, when it comes down to talking about these study materials from NASM, it really depends on the certification package that you purchase. The first is the self-study package, which is the most common package individuals purchase. This includes a copy of this 720 page textbook, online video lectures, a full library of exercises, multiple quizzes, exams, and an official study guide to go along with it. Next up is the premium self-study package, which includes flashcards and additional activities to do in addition to the stuff that's included in the self-study package. Next up is the CPT guided study, which includes everything in the previous packages, but also throws in full-time access to a mentor or coach, in addition to live webinars. This also includes discussion questions, access to a live workshop, and they also offer an exam pass guarantee. Now, the final package that NASM offers is a CPT all-inclusive program. This includes the CPT development program and the NASM business 
Accelerator program. All of this is extremely useful if you are looking to create a full-time business out of it. In addition to all of these packages, if you're looking for additional study materials on the market, head over to Trainer Academy. They can help reduce your study time by around 50% and offer an exam pass guarantee. Similar to NASM, ACE also offers their own study packages. Starting off, we have the ACE Pro Essential Package. This gives you access to practice tests and ACE study coaches. This also gives you access to the textbook in addition to the Fitness Professionals eBook, access to the ACE Academy Elite, which is their guided study program, and also gives access to additional personal training tools and resources. Their next package is the ACE Pro Plus Package. This includes everything that was mentioned in the previous package while also including a hard copy of the study companion manual. In addition to this, this also covers the ACE Exercise Science for Fitness Professionals textbook. Now the last package is the ACE Pro Advantage package. This includes everything that was mentioned in the previous package while also including the Fitness Math Online course. Overall, both packages have great study materials to choose from. The fact that NASM has more of an application towards business practices for a personal trainer this gives the NASM a slight edge. Now, taking a look at the pricing, of course, the pricing is going to vary depending on which package you choose from. Over here on the left is the NASM package pricing as well as the discounted pricing for PT Pioneer students. And as you can see, all of the prices vary depending on which package you purchase. This is going to be the same for the A certification packages as you can see over here in which all of them would vary depending on which package you are planning to purchase. Now, if we're comparing the NASM self-study package and the ACE Pro Essentials package, although it is a bit cheaper with the NASM package when we apply the PTP discount, the ACE Pro Essentials package does offer a little bit more in comparison for the money. For what you get with these baseline packages in terms of study materials, ACE would come out on top. Now, one thing to keep note of is that this discount package might not be always applied for NASM. So be sure to check out this link up over here to visit the deals page for ptpioneer.com. This is due to the fact that the prices will always be changing. And if you're looking to get the most up-to-date current prices, as well as great discounts, head over to the link up in the corner. Now, the final part financially that we want to consider is what you would potentially expect for income as a personal trainer. At the time of recording this video, these are the numbers that you can currently expect from a NASM CPT personal trainer or an ACPT personal trainer. If we visit websites such as payscale.com, we can see that NASM has a base salary of $41,000. In comparison to this, ACE also has a starting salary of $41,000 as well. So as we can see, it doesn't make too much of a difference in terms of a starting salary if you are first starting out as a personal trainer. With this in mind, potential employers will look for both certifications over at LA Fitness, Anytime Fitness, 24 Hour Fitness, and any major commercial gym. So if you're simply going off of earning potential, both of these would be great certifications to go for. Now let's also consider tests and recertification when you're choosing between one of these two certifications. For the NASM certification, you will have up to 12 months until you have to take the final exam. This final exam consists of 120 multiple choice questions. NASM will give you two hours to complete the examination and will notify you almost immediately after if you pass or fail. For this, you do need a minimum score of 70 in order to pass. Again, the passing rate for NASM is 64%, so keep that in mind. Now, if you don't manage to pass on your first try, you will have to pay a retake fee of $199. Now, in contrast to this, the A certification has only up to six months until you have to take the final exam. For this final exam, you will have to answer 150 multiple choice questions. In total, you have 800 points on the entire exam and you would need up to 500 in order to pass. This means you need about 90 out of 150 questions in order to pass the exam. They also give you three hours to answer all of the questions. Now, if you do happen to fail on your first try, you will have to pay a retest fee of $199, similar to the NASM. In regards to both certifications, when you are taking the examination, you do need to be at least 18 years old and have a CPR AAD certification. Now, regarding recertification and continuing education credits for the NASM, you will need at least 20 hours of continuing education credits 
in order to get your recertification. This is over a course of two years and to recertify you need to pay a recertification fee of $99. For the A certification, they also require their trainers to recertify every two years. You also need 20 hours of continuing education credits for recertifying with ACE. However, the cost to recertify for this certification is $129. When it comes to getting recertified, the NASM is more cost effective as it will cost less to get recertified. So if we were to compare which certification out of the two we would choose, we would go with the NASM. We would give this one 5 out of 5 stars compared to the ACE, which has 4 out of 5 stars. Now when it comes to selecting a certification for the job market, we think NASM comes out ahead with the OPT model and what is included with the certification. In terms of popularity, NASM also comes out on top with most gyms accepting individuals that have it when they apply for a job. Despite this, you will have a very high success rate when it comes to applying to personal training jobs if you have either certification. Considering that many employers right now are looking for individuals with an NASM certification, this one would be a better one to go for out of the two. Again, if you're still selecting a certification and are just getting started within the fitness industry, head over to ptpioneer.com and take the quiz on the main homepage. Lastly, don't forget to smash the like button if you think this was helpful in comparing which certification would be the best fit for you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you're looking for additional videos on getting started as a fitness professional. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions in regards to either one of these two certifications. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, good luck studying, and we'll see you guys in the next video.